I feel like I'm sweating. Why am I sweating? Ugh, it's getting to be the hotter months for sure. My mascara is bleeding onto my face today. I was holding it upside down. <laughs> Adorable. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I thought it would be a lot of fun to sit down and talk about my favorite palettes for spring. Spring is definitely one of my favorite times of year along with summer. Honestly, I love every season. I don't know what I'm saying, but spring colors are so much fun and summer colors give me all the vibes, but then I also love the deep dark autumn tones and <laughs> blue winter okay i love all the colors whatever i'm a very colorful person as you can see but if you're new here i would love for you to subscribe to my channel i do a ton of product reviews and colorful makeup looks and let's get into this video so i thought i would rank these not rank them but like talk about them in order of how expensive they are because that makes the most sense right but obviously when i think of spring i think of pastels i think of like rosy pinks and i also think of purples i love purples i created this look using a few of the palettes i'm talk about today and when i get to them i'll let you know because it's a lot of fun the actual full tutorial will be up on my instagram i did want to try to bring a mix of some old palettes as well as some newer palettes so hopefully i did a good job in this and honestly this video is not meant for you to go out and buy these palettes it's meant for you to dig into your collection and try to see what you have that you could use for the springtime that's like appropriate for spring and just like really fun and bright colors if that's what you're into or pastels or something that you just normally wouldn't go to. I enjoyed going through my collection, kind of seeing what palettes I haven't used in a while and kind of pulling them out for the season because I think that's a lot of fun. Like I'm just trying to remind you that if you own these palettes, they're, they're good for spring. That's what I'm trying to say. Or if you own similar shades in some of these palettes, you know, that kind of thing. There are 10, I think. Should I call this my top 10? So the first palettes, palettes, I say palettes because I'm kind of cheating the system. This technically makes it 11, but I'm talking about the e.l.f. Mint Collection palettes. These are the bite-sized duos. I love these so, so much. These are so blendable, easy to use. I think they're perfect for beginners. If you're starting to dabble into color, these are perfect for you. They have a bunch of options. These are $4. I believe the rest of the bite-sized palettes are $3, but I thought these were the most appropriate for spring because I love a good mint spring palette if you don't want to spend the 16 i think it's 16 dollars for the color pop mint to be which is also great these are perfect for you because you get a ton of mint options and you get some neutrals over here that you can mix and match with the rest of the palette as well i think that this is such amazing quality for the price they're so stunning the shimmers are so buttery and smooth this is my favorite shade of all time to be honest so so stunning you can build it up i did use this in my full face of elf video if you haven't seen it it'll be up in the I or down below it is definitely just so amazing quality for the price i haven't used this one as much but this this matte um matte this shimmer mint is so so stunning the, it's like a lot more opaque than the other the other one's a little bit more crumbly but they both work really really well and i just love every single shade in both of these palettes i think they're super worth the money four dollars like eight dollars and you get eight eyeshadows and they're pretty big pans they're really they're pocket size as you can see there's they're they're smaller than my mascara smaller than my mascara i just love these palettes so so much up next we have the makeup revolution this is the forever flawless affinity palette a lot of people have an issue with the makeup revolution formula it's not my absolute favorite but i think this palette is so so pretty just look at the colors in here you have really really pretty rose tones and bright pinks this is kind of a it's more of like it has like a it's a crumbly like shimmer shade but it doesn't bother me at all i'm wearing this in the outer part of my lid today it is so so pretty it just added so much to the look because i thought it was looking a little bit bare i just think it's super stunning this one is a pressed glitter over here it's called empathy and i love a pressed glitter i know people that don't look at how opaque that is look at how stunning it is so gorgeous i don't know if that was in focus i don't think it was so pretty i love a press glitter the only thing about this palette is that the mattes are a little bit understated so this pink right here i actually did put in my crease but it's a little bit more muted in my eyes than it is on the pan it's not as opaque as i would like for it to be even swatched like it's a little underwhelming compared to like what it looks like in the pan if that makes any sense i also really love their formula of shimmers even though some of the shimmers are a little crumbly there's still not a lot of fallout with this palette which surprises me a lot i think it's a great formula for the price it's $15 normally, but it's actually on sale right now at Ulta. I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, but I'll let you guys know if it's still on sale in the description, but it's on sale for $9. For $9, I think this is a great palette. You get how many shades in here? 6, 12, 18. I can do math. 18 shades, and I think that's a great value. 
Up next, we have the ColourPop Aura and Out palette. I love this palette. I bought it last year around this time. It has such fun colors in here. We have more of the mints. And honestly, the formula of this palette is really, really nice. A lot of people do not like the shimmer, the matte with the shimmer in it. I don't mind it anymore. I, at first, I was like, what are you doing? You do not put shimmer... <laughs> You, it, why why make a matte? Why would you do that? A lot of people say that what you can do with this palette is actually take your brush and if you tap out the excess, some of the glitter will fall out. I just realized I've never taken this off. I've used this palette so much. I've created so many looks with it. I love it. I'm obsessed with the pressed glitters, which I know everyone hates. Like, why does everyone hate these? They're so pretty. I think they can add so much to your inner corner, but I'm a huge fan of that kind of thing. I love glitter. I love, I, I don't know. But we have so many really pretty options for spring in this palette. And these these are so pigmented for pastels and they blend really, really easily. The mattes are super blendable and the shimmers are very, very creamy. There's two different formulas, I think. Like there's a couple of satin and then there's a couple of like more like actual shimmer shades. I don't know if that makes any sense, but these are so, so pretty. I love them. This palette came in a set of three. I don't remember the name of the third one. I never bought it, but it does pair well, really well with the next palette, which is the In A Trance palette. If you love pinks and purples, this palette is for you. It is so affordable, by the way. These palettes are $14. This one also has a pressed glitter, different color scheme. It's more purple, pink vibes rather than green and blue vibes i don't know there's a bunch of like glitter particles in both of those i just love them i don't know why people hate on them so much the only thing is i really could have done without this one if i had the glitter that's all i'm saying but these two work really well together i've used them both together in looks and i've used them separately really really well again same thing with the formula the mattes are really blendable they're easy to blend they're very pigmented for pastels they're very pigmented but they're not chalky and that's that's amazing. That's what I love about them. I think that these are perfect for spring. I think that both of these palettes are a great addition to my collection because I don't think I have any any colors like these in any other palettes or any other shadows. Like, you know what I mean? I'll have all these palettes linked down below, by the way. Next, we have the Morphe 35XO palette. This is actually my newest palette, I think, in my collection. <laughs> they did send this over to me in PR. When I opened it, I was like, this is so stunning. Obviously, this came out around Valentine's Day. I don't know if it was this year or last year. I don't know when this was released, to be honest. I'm kind of lost all over Morphe's releases, but I don't really like this situation. Horrible. Hate it. <laughs> I wish the shade names were on here, but it's okay. This is a stunning everyday palette. I know a lot of people don't like the bigger palettes. They're harder to store, but I think that this is great because you have so many options. One more thing about the bigger palettes is that you have a lot of shades that are similar to one another, but it, again, just gives you more options on to, stuff to play with. This palette runs for $25. From this palette, I do have this shade in my crease as well, helping blend out the pink, and it's super pretty. I love it, and I love this pressed glitter as well. Another pressed glitter. Press glitters are in, I'm telling you. This is a beautiful rose gold that I think is also perfect for spring. So, so stunning. I'm gonna do better swatches, I promise. <laughs> but the purples in this palette are so beautiful and they are buttery and smooth and they blend really, really easily as well. There is one shade, a couple of shades actually, that have the that are matte with the sparkle situation that ColourPop does. But it does not bother me. If it bothers you, then maybe you want to consider another palette. I just love that you can create so many everyday looks with this palette, but you could also like just do a lot of really fun purpley, pink, mauvey looks. And I think the color scheme is so perfect for spring. I feel like I'm sweating. Why am I sweating? Ugh. It's getting to be the hotter months for sure. Next, we have the Rare Beauty Magnetic Spirit Palette. This is such a stunning palette. I know a lot of people are intimidated because it is an all shimmer palette, but don't be intimidated. You can create full looks from just this palette, or you could just use these as like toppers using them in conjunction with other palettes in your collection, which I've done both. I'm wearing this shade all over my lid. It's my favorite shade out of the whole palette, but I also really love this peachy shade, which I think is also perfect for spring. It is so pretty. I am obsessed with it. The formula of this is so great. These two on the end are a little bit of a different formula than the rest of them in the middle. They're more crumbly. All of these are so pigmented and buttery and smooth besides this one, which is more of a topper, like I said, but it's the one on my lid and I just love using it all the time. Oh, it's so stunning. It's a little crumbly, but you make it work and there is no fallout even with the fact that that's crumbly. So I love that a lot. It is super travel friendly because it's so small, as you can see. I mean, it's not as small as the bite size, but it's, you know, it's getting there. So it's travel friendly this last shade i don't know that i would necessarily say that it's perfect for spring i would say it is a really nice autumnal olive green situation but this palette is absolutely stunning 
one of my favorites. I love the formula. I want to try their new palette. I would say that their new palette is also a really good spring palette as well. I just love everything Rare Beauty stands by, so I just love the palette so, so much. It's cruelty-free and vegan as well. It's $25, which is actually really affordable for a palette sold at Sephora. And I just love that the pans are huge. They take up the entirety of the palette, so it makes me so happy. I just love this palette. My mascara is bleeding onto my face today. Up next, we have a palette that is not highly rated by a ton of YouTubers, but I love it. This is the Pat McGrath, I was holding it upside down. This is the Pat McGrath Rose Decadence palette. I think this is so stunning for an everyday palette, even a bridal palette. If you have a wedding in the spring, so perfect. I know that a lot of people don't like this because there's not, like it doesn't have any of the Blitz Astral shades, which, which are the Pat McGrath special formula shades, but that's because it's only six shades and it's a, uh, a fraction of the cost of the bigger palettes the mothership palettes or anything like that i'm just getting into pat mcgrath so i don't know much about her formula but i've watched so many videos you have no idea while i love the formula of the blitz astral shades these are really nice for every day and again it reflects in the price this one is 39 dollars you get two mattes and then four shimmers and i think that they're perfect for every day like i said you can use this one as a transition shade this one to deepen out the crease you can create so many looks with this palette honestly even though they're not the blitz astral shades like i keep saying <laughs> the worst Pat, the worst Pat McGrath formula is still better than, you know, normal everyday eyeshadows. Like, this is seriously such a great palette. I love it so much. The packaging is another thing people get upset about. It's not like her mothership, obviously, because it's cheaper. It's just a cheaper, it's cardboard. It's whatever. It doesn't bother me. It's a really nice everyday palette, and I don't know why people hate on it so much. The mattes are so nice. They blend out like a dream. The shimmers are so pigmented and buttery and smooth and like opaque as heck. Such a great palette, I love it. Up next we have a palette that I don't hear a lot of people talking about and I actually got this in a boxy charm. I just was looking through my collection and I was like, it is so cute and I think it's perfect for spring, I think. This is the Storybook, the Storybook. I wanna say Storybook so badly from Once Upon a Time. Storybook Cosmetics Fairy Tales Little Briar Rose Palette. First of all, the packaging is adorable. Not really convenient for storying, so it's also kind of annoying, but it's cute. And I love the color scheme. You have so many peaches and like mauvies, and then you have this light blue over here. And this, this is my favorite shade in the whole palette. So stunning, look at that. I think that is stunning. And I think it's really nice for spring because you don't just, you really don't get like that rose gold glitter with like a semi, oh, I'm just like making everyone blind with a stupid mirror. It's very unique. I don't have a shade like that in my collection, that's for sure. I also don't really have a shade like this one, this blue. I think it's really icy and pretty. And I just think that they're kind of like pastel -y rose gold mauve -y. really nice everyday shades as well and the formula is really nice i just love the whole aesthetic of this i like the whole concept behind the brand i think it's really cute i can't wait to see what else they come up with and i think this is a palette you can create a ton of looks with you could do neutral with the pop of color or you can do a totally colorful look and i think the colors are really unique and perfect for spring next i have the urban decay naked ultra violet palette so this one honestly if i want to be totally honest with you i think this is the lowest rated <laughs> naked palette in my opinion but it's also underrated and i love the naked palettes i'm a huge fan of the naked palettes my favorite naked palette of all time is the naked three it's the pink color scheme it's beautiful i love the rose golds in there but i also really love the naked reloaded which is like neutrals a bunch of neutrals the formula of this is on par with the other naked palettes i think it's really great what this palette lacks is a deep matte purple to darken up the crease but that's what makes this a fun palette for spring i pulled it out because i want to use it more for spring i'm using this shade today in the crease to um what's it called blend out the other pinks this is a nice really uh light lilac purple situation this lilac shade is so so pretty and perfect for spring and it is not chalky for a pastel it is beautiful it blends out beautifully and it's smooth but my favorite shade in the palette has to be lucid it's the one in my inner corner this is such a stunning shade i don't have anything like this in my collection there is a similar shade in the other rare beauty palette that i own but it's not quite the same this is super stunning it's kind of a dual chrome it has like a mint with like a blue 
green shift it is i think it complements this look so pretty it like gives it a nice contrast in my opinion so this one runs for 49 dollars. i think the shades in here are really pretty i pulled it out because i want to use it more i haven't used it all that much and i definitely need to use it more and i think it's perfect for spring with all these purples if you like purples you won't be disappointed by the formula i think that you will enjoy this a lot it's just that if you like to deepen the crease with a darker shade you might have to dip into another palette but such a great formula such a great palette for spring next we have the natasha denona love palette this is one of my favorite palettes of all time this was my first midi size natasha denona palette so this one runs for 65 dollars it's a little bit pricier i love this again for like an everyday look if you love purple pinks and mauves that kind of thing you'll love this i think it's perfect for spring the purple shades are my favorite <laughs> the mattes are buildable they're not like super intensely pigmented but they're buildable and they blend out really really nicely i'm obsessed with the silver i just love the natasha denorma formula i do have to say i don't prefer it over pat mcgrath like the mothership palettes of course because it's kind of more inconsistent that is a stunning red reddish pink matte I love it. I just think this palette is perfect for spring. And there are some really pretty dual crumbs in this palette. I love it. It's a great palette. And if you can get your hands on it, you should. And then the last palette. Well, okay, it's not technically a palette. So I'm kind of cheating here. But it is a collection of eyeshadows. They're single eyeshadows from Davina Cosmetics. I have them in this palette. This is not sold with the collection you have to buy it separately i actually want to get a z palette that holds all of my single eyeshadows from different indie brands but that's just i got the whole collection because i love it i think that this collection this is a star chasers collection by the way the star chasers collection is 48 dollars. it is a glitter a pastel glittery shifter dream they do shift they are really really pretty that's one of my favorite shades the formula of these is really really good but it's crumbly so you're gonna get fallout but that's okay i love it i think these shades are perfect for spring i love the yellow i love all the shades <laughs> i'm not even gonna like lie to you these are so so stunning they do have a shift they are duo chromy but like i said they're crumbly so it's not everyone's cup of tea but i think the shades are perfect for spring I use a lot of these as toppers, inner corner highlights, uh, to pop of color, or just in conjunction with a lot of my other palettes, obviously. I wouldn't use these on their own because they don't blend well into the crease, obviously. Like, with the Rare Beauty, you can create a full look from that palette because some of the shimmers are, like, easier to blend into the crease. These are more crumbly, but they're so, so stunning. I love indie brands. Davina has the best indie brand eyeshadow. I do want to try, like, Alien Cosmetics. I want to try Terra Moon's Cosmetics, Cleonad, and like a bunch of other ones but aren't these so stunning like beautiful beautiful shades for spring adorable i just think that these shades are so unique i don't have anything like this in my collection that's why i bought these and i bought the whole collection because it was just cheaper to save the thing is that these are um you know they're handmade they're hand pressed they're hand everything and they're always out of stock because they're always having to do things on their own they're a hispanic owned couple brand situation but i love them i love this i love this I love the formula. It's a buttery smooth formula, even though it's a little crumbly. It goes on beautifully. Definitely use a glitter primer, a tacky eye primer, or something like that, and do your eyes first. Like don't don't do your base first, because it, it fallout is real with this one. But yeah, that completes this video. These were my top palettes for spring. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what your top palettes are for spring, because I would love to know. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. It's kind of a pressed glitter. No. It, besides the, um, even though the shades, some of the